We'd like to provide a brief synopsis of the High Court judgments this week in relation to our religious discrimination case against Inuai Galway. We had appealed to the High Court Judge Petria MacDonald's refusal to recuse herself from hearing our case. And in an extraordinary ruling this week, the High Court disallowed our appeal and sent the case back to the Circuit Court to be ruled on and decided on by someone who considers and believes it to be moot. And our appeal this week was in relation to the conduct of Circuit Court Judge Petria MacDonald on the 18th of June last year. And we argued before the High Court that Judge Petria MacDonald's conduct on the 18th of June uh, demonstrated objective bias and prejudgment. And for that reason, uh, we argued that the High Court should uh, recuse her from hearing our religious discrimination case. Yes, yeah, so just to be clear about what conduct we're speaking about, at the outset of the hearing, on the, the, the hearing in the Circuit Court on the 18th of June 2019, Judge MacDonald stated that our case was moot. And this was a manifestly false and perverse statement. And after we objected to this, Judge MacDonald falsely denied that she had made a statement and said that she had simply asked a question. And she, she said this on several occasions. And she persistently re refused to uh, apolog retract or apologize for her statement. We asked her to re retract her statement at least six times during that morning and that afternoon. And further to this, uh, she doubled down uh, several times on her statement that our proceedings were moot, uh, even saying at one point, the one issue has already been conceded. So in brief, Judge McDonnell was of a fixed mindset that our case was moot when it most definitely was not. Mm -hmm. And we appealed Judge Petria McDonnell's refusal to recuse herself to the High Court. And the recently appointed Miss Justice Mary Rose Geerty heard our appeal on Monday the 17th of February this week and delivered her judgment uh, the following day on Tuesday the 18th of February. Yes, so Miss Justice Geerty did not allow our appeal. She held that the conduct of uh, Judge uh, Patria MacDonald did not demonstrate objective bias or prejudgment and that she said there was no reason for Judge MacDonald to recuse herself. And she ordered that a religious discrimination case be, against NUI Galway be relisted for hearing at Galway Circuit Court. And just to get into some of the uh, detail in relation to Miss Justice Geerty's ruling, although she did agree at the High Court that our case was indeed not moot, she said that Judge Petria MacDonald was, quote, trying to understand what the issues were, unquote, and that all four plaintiffs were, quote, failing to help her, unquote. Now, this is a circuit court judge who is on a salary of 160,000 euros per year and receives expenses of thousands of euros above that. And I'd like to just repeat what the High Court judge said about the Circuit Court judge. She said that although her statement was false, that she was, quote, trying to understand what the issues were, unquote, and that all four plaintiffs were, quote, failing to help her, unquote. She said that we should have offered assistance to the judge and an explanation as to why the case was indeed not moot. She says the judge repeatedly asks for assistance and does not get it. She said that the plaintiffs told the judge that her comment was, quote, offensive, we did, and we did uh, state that to the judge, but never explained why it was offensive and that that was a lack on our part. And the words of Miss Justice Geerty were, Quote, the reason offence was taken was never once communicated to Judge Petria MacDonald, unquote. Yes, now this was despite the fact that Isaac had clearly informed Judge Petria MacDonald during the hearing on the 18th of June 2019 
that her statement displayed a clear, I'm sorry, a profound disregard for the nature and extent of the sanction over the four, year, the, the four years, and that her words showed a deep mm -hmm. misunderstanding of the nature of the case. Yes, and in relation to the comment itself made by Judge Petrie MacDonald, Miss Justice Geerty said that it was entirely predictable and perfectly reasonable. She said that any judge would naturally think the case was moot and that most judges would have made such a comment. According to her, the misunderstanding was on the part of the plaintiffs, not the judge. And she said that the way that we reacted was, quote, an overreaction, unquote. She said that the judge was entitled to express an opinion. She said it was us that had a fixed mindset and not the judge. Now this is extraordinary because we asked the judge on at least six different occasions that morning and afternoon to simply retract and apologize for the statement she had made given that it was false. But on each occasion the judge emphatically refused to do either. And here we have the High Court saying that it is us who have a fixed mindset and not Judge Petria MacDonald. This is quite simply extraordinary. Now, the High Court said that although the statement by Judge Petria MacDonald was false, there was, quote, no need for the judge to retract or apologize, unquote. And that, quote, the judge was right not to do so, unquote. Yes, and then in relation to the fact that the judge had denied, so Judge Patrice MacDonald had denied that she had made a statement, uh, Ms Justice Geerty said that the judge had indeed made a statement and, and not a question, as Judge Patrice MacDonald said, but was only under a misapprehension in that regard. Mm -hmm. And she said that as a judge, it's impossible uh, to take note of what you are saying and that it is, uh, quote, common to be mistaken, end quote, in relation to what you said a few moments earlier. Uh, she went on to say that Judge Patrie MacDonald could not be expected to know the legal basis of the plaintiff's proceedings. Now, these were proceedings under the Equal Status Acts. And she said that judges, uh, quote, do not have time to prepare individual cases or read submissions before the case starts. But rather, she said that it is, quote, increment on litigants to explain the case. And she did not accept that, uh, quote, because the judge heard a preliminary hearing of the case beforehand, uh, as Judge uh, Patricia MacDonald did, she should therefore remember the legal basis. Uh, Ms Justice Geerty uh, denied that that was the case. After delivery of the judgment on Tuesday, I put it to Ms Justice Geerty that she was sending this case back to a judge who believed it to be moot and uh, Miss Justice Geerty did not respond to our concern and we believe it is our opinion that the ruling of Miss Justice Geerty paints a very bleak picture of the state of the administration of justice in Ireland. Judges are required not only to uphold but also to exemplify certain principles of judicial conduct amongst those would be impartiality integrity, diligence and competence. And it is our opinion uh, that Miss Justice Geerty's ruling is sadly lacking mm -hmm. in a due regard for those very, very important judicial principles. So, as I said, we're taking the matter very seriously. Uh, we think it's uh, extraordinary that the case will be sent back to be adjudicated upon by someone who considers it to be moot. And we are considering all of our options going forward in relation to this case. As always, thank you for your support.